Genicular artery embolization is cutting-edge new minimally invasive image-guided procedure for treatment of pain in patients with knee osteoarthritis. This animation demonstrates how this minimally invasive procedure is performed step-by-step -step through the contralateral groin for up and over as well as ipsilateral groin for anterograde access. As the first step, skin in the contralateral groin area is marked based the upper and lower margins of the femoral head. Once the desired location of the common femoral artery for access is picked up under ultrasound, the skin entry site is numbed by injecting lidocaine. Then, the contralateral common femoral artery is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a micropuncture needle toward the pelvis. Once the blood return is noted, a microwire is advanced through the needle into the common femoral artery. Then, the needle is exchanged for a transitional sheath and the transitional sheath is advanced over the microwire. The microwire and inner dilator of the transitional sheath are exchanged for a wire with larger diameter and longer length which is advanced through the transitional sheath into the aorta. Then, the outer layer of transitional sheath is exchanged for a vascular sheath. The dilator of the vascular sheath is removed. At this point, the sheath is aspirated and flushed with heparinized normal saline. A curved catheter is advanced over the wire through the sheath into the lower aorta, and subsequently the tip is formed by pulling back the wire. Then, the wire is re-advanced and this combination is used to select the contralateral common iliac artery. Subsequently, the curved catheter is exchanged for angled catheter. The combination of angled catheter and wire is advanced to the distal contralateral femoral artery. For ipsilateral approach, the skin in the ipsilateral groin area is also marked based the upper and lower margins of the femoral head. Once the access site to the common femoral artery is identified under ultrasound guidance, the skin at the entry site is numbed with an injection of lidocaine. Then, the ipsilateral common femoral artery is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a micropuncture needle toward the target knee. Once the blood return is noted, a microwire is advanced through the needle into the superficial femoral artery. Then, the needle is exchanged for a transitional sheath and the transitional sheath is advanced over the microwire. The microwire and inner dilator of the transitional sheath are exchanged for a larger wire which is advanced through the transitional sheath into the distal ipsilateral superficial femoral artery. Then, the outer layer of transitional sheath is exchanged for a vascular sheath. The dilator of the vascular sheath is removed. At this point, the sheath is aspirated and flushed with heparinized normal saline. An angled catheter is advanced over the wire, through the sheath, and into the distal superficial femoral artery near the adductor canal. Then, the wire is removed and angiogram is performed to identify the genicular arteries contributing to inflammation in knee joint. A combination of microcatheter and microwire is advanced through the base catheter to select the target genicular arteries. At this stage, ice packs are applied to the target knee to minimize the risk of non-target embolization affecting the skin. Once the target vessel is catheterized, the microwire is removed, and the genicular artery embolization is performed using microparticles until pruning of the inflammatory and abnormal branch of the genicular artery is achieved. This step of procedure may require multiple stages of particle injection. Upon achieving the goal of embolization, microcatheter and base catheter are removed. Then, the sheath is slightly pulled back and eventually removed while manual pressure is applied at the artery's entry site in the groin.